Hi, Chris from JNS. Uh, this is one of our own jackets. It's a BKS Apache uh, laminated jacket. Um, and when we say laminated, it's it's waterproofed um, as normal, but it's it's laminated. The waterproof liner is actually laminated, attached to the the outer material of the jacket. Now you'd see this more. Um, in a lot more expensive jackets and it's something recently that we've developed um, you get it a lot with uh, Rooker or Climb or um, you know similar Gore-Tex laminated jackets where the water will hit the outer jacket and just bead off the outside because the waterproof lining is up against the other side of the the outer material um, differently is that other waterproof jackets have a drop liner inside that isn't attached so you can ride all day and it's really it, it, in a terrible weather and you will stay dry because the waterproof line is working but in those older style jackets the outer material will absorb the moisture in the water and you'll be absolutely dripping wet when you finish and it'll take two or three days for that jacket to dry out properly even though you're not wet underneath and you stayed waterproof the jacket itself, the outer material has absorbed loads of water all day and this is the difference if it's laminated, it won't do that, it'll just bead off and it will hold a little bit of water but it'll dry really quickly um, and that's where the future of, of textile clothing, waterproof textile clothing is going. So this is our, our, um, uh, our BKS jacket that we've um, developed to do just that job. It's a Hypora waterproof liner and again it is laminated to the outside um, but a nice jacket in itself we've got a, uh, some leather features on it as well here in, in the design with the embossed logo nice and plain and, and not too striking no bright colours um, so it's, an, it, it, it's quite a, a, a delicate colour really and it doesn't look you know too over the top it's a Kajora outer material as well which is around 600-800 denier uh, Kajora material, Kajora is one of the original uh, materials that textile um, clothing uses and there's a lot of cheaper options out there and a lot of copies for Kajora um, but this is the, the genuine, genuine Kajora fabric, fabric we've got leather features here on the zips as well uh, just the zip on the cuff we've used waterproof zips throughout as well um, on the cuffs, on the vents and of course the main zip as well stretch panels of course it has standard, a C standard body armour and the whole jacket is built to double A uh, standard CE specification as well. Um, that's the whole jacket and there is a matching trouser to go with it as well which is made to the same spec. Um, on the outside you'll see, you won't see it very clearly now, but it's got some piping as well and that's fluorescent piping so in headlights it lights up really brightly. I don't know if um, uh, Steve might put a, a still video of, or a still picture on this video just showing how bright that light is when he when he takes it with his camera he probably will because I prompted him now um, uh, let's open it up on the inside first of all you've got a storm collar around the top there just to sit in between the jacket and the underside of your helmet so that if you're in really heavy rain the water just runs off down the outside that is removable you don't have to have it on so uh, you can take it off it just unzips dead easy um, undoing that main zip which is a a waterproof main zip reveals the the storm zip inside as well with a storm cuff so if water does get through that first zip it's got to hit another zip with a cuff over the top of it and there's another zip inside there for the liner now that opening that up it reveals the inner liner jacket as well now this is a separate lining thermal lining um, but it's a separate jacket in itself it's a, a, a destination jacket, BKS one, so you can wear that as a casual jacket when you've got off the bike. And that's built in to the jacket itself there. As I said, it contains all CE body armour, shoulders, forearm and elbow. There is an option for a back protector as well. There is a, a, a pocket in there so you can upgrade to a CE back protector of your choice level one or level two. Pockets inside including the Napoleon pocket which will be 100% waterproof because it's inside the liner of the jacket but these outer pockets as well they have waterproof liners inside as well and waterproof zips so generally speaking that is the most waterproof jacket that one inside but these are constructed to be as waterproof as possible as well the vents on the top 
just undoing the zip there just allows a, 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 a through flow of air into the jacket itself even though it's, it's a waterproof liner um, it does let some air in if you want it to cool down um, so you can open those vents you've got a vent here on the top and you've got some on the back as well I'll just turn it around just so it's a nice subtle BKS lion's head emblem there and then at the side you've got that vent which opens up and of course you can do it up, undo it from the opposite way as well and it gives you that little bit of splay around the bottom of the hem if you sat on the bike and, and you feel the jacket's riding up you can undo that zip and it'll sit back down again and fit you properly when you're actually on the bike adjustment here on the waistband as well at the back with press studs you've got two two options there for the press studs depending again what sort of width you want on that bottom hem turn it back around there we go there's some adjustments on the arms as well to hold that body armour in place a press stud here and a strap at the top for around the bicep and that press stud on the forearm it's a lovely jacket lovely weight very reasonably priced as ever because it's one of our own jackets and um, yeah the first of many we hope with it being a laminated waterproof jacket